Welcome back. It's still plus politics. I'm moving out. Moving on to the second issue of the day, the Anambra State Governor Willie Obiana has urged President Muhammadu Buhari and other African leaders not to allow U.S. President Donald Trump to frustrate Ngozi Okonjo Wiala's bid to emerge as the next Director General of World Trade Organization (WTO). This is as the statement by the Office of the United States Trade Representative on the selection of the next WTO DG, late Wednesday said it supports Okonjo Wiala's only contender and South Korea's trade minister, Yo jong hu describing her as a bona fide trade expert who has distinguished herself during a 25-year career as a successful trade negotiator and trade policy maker. Where does this leave Nigeria's candidate, that's Ngozi okonjo -Biala. To discuss this, we have uh, the Registrar and Chief Executive Officer of Institute of Credit Administration, Professor Chris Onalo. Okay, I understand he will be joining us soon. And we also have with us in this conversation, Gospel Obele uh, is the CEO of Street, Street, Street no Streetnomics and also a certified Bloomberg uh, analyst. Good evening, Gospel. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Okay, let's get started. I'm sure you've been following the trend, and uh, there are a lot of questions on uh, what does it take? What's the implication of uh, U.S. reservation in not endorsing Okonjo Wiala? We understand they have the veto, but what is the implication of that? Um, of course, we all um, know and understand the U.S. position in terms of globalization, the global politics, foreign policy, international relations, and the likes. And yes, they may have a voice in determining or influencing how these things pan out. Uh, but in my own humble opinion, I think that um, what the WTO needs in terms of, and everybody agrees on that, you know, a system-wide reforms to drive um, um, world trade, basically, especially in the midst of changing global complexities. So I, I think personally that, um, not because I'm a Nigerian, um, but from my knowledge of reforms, it requires a combination of so much skill sets, you know, collective skill sets, or would like the word complementary skill sets. And part of these skill sets will be um, um, the technical skill set itself, but outside that will be ability to um, negotiate and go beyond um, um, the conventional means to have that clearly. And um, I have read a few of her, her, her works in terms of how she was able to push reforms in Nigeria as two-time minister and um, even as coordinating minister of the Nigerian economy. And with her work in the World Bank, um, I think personally she has the reform, the, the nature of skill sets to drive the WTO. And she has also done a lot of work globally. So she has moved from just um, local to regions and then um, to global level in terms of engagement and cutting across different developmental programs. And you know, um, trade is a subset of global development and um, global advancement, per se. So I, I think she's strategically positioned and um, she has the right complementary set of skills, all right, to drive the reform agenda, which everybody agrees on for the WTO. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we now have Professor Nalu uh, joining us now. Prof, um, I don't understand, and some people right there are beginning to say, what is it about Nigeria and America? You remember that report about uh, Adishino before he later emerged as the president of the AFDB, and now we are having America not throwing their support behind Nigeria. Is it about Nigeria or there's something we don't understand? Okay, uh, thank, you. Thank, thank you very much. Um, I, I think it is so fundamental in international uh, politics and diplomacy that the economic uh, concentration it plays a very critical role in, in terms of how countries respond to the state of affairs in another country or how countries respond to issues that bordered on the national interest of that country. 
for Nigeria and the United States. You recall that the Chinese factor, you know, China as a country, it plays a very significant role in terms of how America sees Nigeria. There is an ongoing war, a trade war, between these two most powerful economic nations. And you know the presence of China in the Nigerian economy. And of course, everywhere, Nigeria, I mean, China is everywhere in Nigeria. That naturally will not go well for the political and economic thinking of the typical America. There is nothing fundamentally wrong, except that countries that America consider to be at a par with them, either economically or politically, and such countries are wedding influence in that particular country, mm -hmm. and in this case, Nigeria, will, not, will alter the thinking of America about Nigeria. Uh, so, but unfortunately, if Nigeria is not careful to understand this policy and reject in its own international relations, then we'll be on the losing side all the time. Don't overlook the enormous influence, economic influence, political influence, and even democratically, of course, in other countries, what would America have against on, on other nations of the world? It will become very difficult for Nigeria to understand what America is doing. So it is the China factor that brings about all of these, uh, you know, up and down okay. thinking about the appointment of Okoji Wagner okay. in the World Trade Organization. Thank you. Uh, let me go back to gospel. Uh, looking at um, these dynamics of international politics and um, the fact that, um, you know, America seems to be having you know, reservation about us. Or probably I should ask you first, do you share that opinion that this is more politics rather than um, the capacity? Because what America has cited is the woman is more qualified than Okonjo. All right. Uh, okay. So answer the question. Um, uh, in, in scenarios like this, clearly... Um, there are always um, things to say or things to, um, um, to tie your reservations to, per se, because these are public issues and nobody wants to be quoted for anything. And this is not just an American issue. It's, it's something that even happens here in Nigeria, all right? Um, you know what the problem is or what the challenge may be, but you don't want to come out and say that's what it is, and you most likely may want to peg it to something else. So um, not really saying that is what they are trying to do, but I know personally that there are uh, many more things that are b beneath this than just um, in terms of skill sets. Um, majority of persons who have endorsed Okonji Wela know that she's um, strategically positioned with the right complementary skill sets to deliver at the reform level or to deliver the reforms the WTO needs. And clearly, the WTO needs um, 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 reforms now is in this stage of of where the world is, you know, and uh, um, it needs to rise to the position of where the World Bank, the IMF, and other global institutions are playing and all that. And these are core reform questions. So um, NY delivers that clearly, but definitely they are, they are way more beyond just this. And not to also talk about the fact that there are reservations about uh, our national narrative, you know, and uh, the what is the, how it's being perceived, all right, in the global stage. So NY for one has gone a long way to, to, to handle that properly and has built a brand for herself. Knowing fully well, everybody knows rather that she has built that track record of competence to be able to engage at that level, being the vice president of World Bank, having engaged with Gabi Foundation and the likes across the global stage. Uh, you know, reasons also why she probably got the level of endorsement she got. All right, so we know that it's not a, a skill set of being able to engage as, as a reformer. All right, anyone do, does that properly, but um, there are way more to this than we can probably put a pointer to. Of course, there are no evidences to show for that, 
But um, I hope that it turns out possibly in our favor. Okay. Because it will also be a good one for the African. Gospel, African let me stay with you before I go back to Prof. Let me stay with you. Now, he mentioned something very, <laughs> I call it disturbing for a lot of people who are rooting for Konjo Viala. And probably, by the way, let me let our viewers know that when you refer to NOI, you are referring to Ngozi Okonjo Viala. So, still staying on NOI. Now, the Prof has said Nigeria needs to be very, very careful. That suggests to us that something can still happen, that Okonjo may not become the DG if we don't play the politics well. How visible is this? Looking at, these are realities now. These are not congestion. Yeah, um, the, the, the painful thing about playing this global politics or this global dynamics at that level is the quality of social capital we have at the global stage, all right? Um, quite frankly, NY needs all the support that she um, that we can give to her now, but I'm scared that we are not really positioned properly in terms of global narrative and social capital to provide the adequate push and necessary support that she needs. Clearly, she's 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 a, a strong reformer and she can deliver the capacity of the WTO. But a level of social capital has to you know is needed to okay. support and push her. I don't I can't really say if Nigeria is in a position to deliver that. Uh, because uh, we have not done well in terms of so, uh, national uh, brand building and global narrative for ourselves. Uh, but then Africa as a continent and as one voice can come together to grant the okay. support, the social capital she needs, all right, to be at the winning edge of this global politics Prof, for the um, WTO DG position. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Prof, let me bring you back again. Now, uh, still talking about the international politics, some would say that, it is not really about America, it's about Trump. And there's going to be November 3 before November 7 when the winner will be announced. So do you think that the presidential election will play a major role on Ngozi's fate? Let's imagine that Trump loses now. Would that make Okonjo to be say that, here I come, the hurdles have been removed? Well, there will be no significant measures between the exit of uh, Donald Trump in the event that he lost the election come uh, this, this weekend and the uh, eventual uh, emergence of uh, uh, Joe Biden as the president of the United States. I'm not expecting any significant change because the Trump as the president of the United States it came as a personality that was elected by the people through the American democratic process. So it would be very naive for anyone to think that the America would change our position on uh, Konji Wala's, uh, you, know, uh, you know, possibility of becoming the Federal General of the World Trade Organization. The American people, the American politics is such that once a commitment is made internationally or domestically, process, the process to changing the minds of Americans do take pretty a long time. So with Nigeria to not expect or no one to expect that in the event that Donald Trump lost the election, and then the incoming president of the United States will quickly address the, the mistake or the wrong that may have been orchestrated by the outgoing administration. It doesn't work out that way. What Nigeria needs to do right now is to work assiduously with other member nations of the World Trade Organization. Because America is just one country. And there is a possibility that if the culture of democracy uh, is sustained within these other member nations of the World Trade Organization, there's a Nigeria stand the chance of dislodging the opinion of America on, on, on the OPG in one last appointment. Okay, let me quickly get Gospel's uh, final comment on that. I think I like the way Prof has ended it. What do we need to do that we are yet to do? You've talked about the fact that we may not have a strong social capital, but how do you build this bridge? She has reached this far just because of probably she has a personal social capital and Nigerian president has decided to stay with her African leaders are endorsing her. Virtually all the people that needed to vote have supported her. What more needs to be done? Wow, I understand the network is bad. Okay.
I wish we could listen to you, but trust me, um, the position you've taken before will be re-echoed so that people will understand what you've said. I'm so sorry. Uh, Prof, thank you for your time. That's Professor uh, Chris Analo, who is the CEO and registrar of uh, Institute of Credit Administration. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. And Gospel Obele, who is a certified uh, Bloomberg analyst for your intervention. We quite appreciate you. I'm sorry we would not be able to bring you my take today. Plus Politics returns on Monday at 7 p.m. Till then, I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladende. Same bye for now.